In the part three of centralized policies, I'm going to discuss about something called route leaking between VPNs or exporting the routes from one VPN to another VPN. In the MPLS L3 VPNs era, this is called doing an extranet, which means taking some routes from some VRF and importing them or leaking them to another VRF. In the Cisco SD-WAN solution, this is called exporting the routes between the VPNs. Let's say we have R22 here. This is part of VPN 200 or our guest VPN. It wants to have the reachability to the PC4D1. Let's imagine PC4D1 is providing some services, for example, services like DNS or something, and the guest needs to have the reachability to this PC4D1. For this purpose, we can do the export from VPN 100 to the VPN 200, and the other direction, we can do the export from VPN 200 to the 100. Otherwise, our, our connectivity is going to be one way. We need to do it in two ways, in the opposite direction also. And by default, only VPN 100 can have the reachability to the VPN 100 on other sites, which means Cisco SD-WAN by default is doing the isolation or segregation, segmentation for the different VPNs. How we can achieve that goal? Let's go to the vManage in this policy section, centralized policies, click on add policy. I have created a new site list. It is called site 20 and 40. I want to apply this policy to only site 20 and 40 because only these two sites contain two of our VPNs, which are VPN 100 and 200. Let's click on next. In the topology tab, click on add topology and custom control for route and T-lock. In this section, we are dealing with the routes. Create a policy to apply on a OMP. Click on it new sequence rule and we can specify our vpn here from the vpn list i select the vpn 100 in the action click on accept and simply export to here we can select the vpn 200 as you realized here we want to take the routes from VPN 100 and export them to the VPN 200. We need to do the same job in the opposite direction. Let's create another sequence. Match the VPN 200 this time. Accept it and export to VPN 100. And by default, I have not specified any prefix list here, which means all the routes by default are going to be taken and exported to the other VPN. But in the real production networks, we don't do this kind of stuff. In the real production network, you need to be specific about the prefixes that you want to export them to other VPNs. For example, you need to be specific and say, only take the 192.168.40, for example, this one, and export it to the 200, and only take the 140 and export it to the 
VPN 100. We will discuss about that thing, but for the beginning, that's okay to have such a simple policy only selecting the VPNs. Let me call this one the extranet. Export VPN 100 to 100. The name, save. Click on next. And here, again, next. And in this part, from the, for the topology purpose, in which direction and for which sites we want to apply this policy to. Uh, sorry, I forgot to do something. Let's go back here. And I want to edit this one. I want to go to the default action and change this default action to accept. Let me tell you why. If you put this default action to be reject, even when this vSmart device receives some VPN 100 routes, it's going to drop them for the 200 as well. That's why in the default action, you need to specify the accept instead of implicit reject or implicit deny, let's say. Save it. One more time. It seems it's not saved. Let me create it one more time from scratch. Custom control, routes. And I think this is safe. Let me check. Let me check this topology stuff. Export. Yes, it is there. I can go back to the centralized policies. And here, instead of creating a new one, I can import the existing topology policy. The name is con custom control, the type, export VPN 100, 200. Okay, this is the same thing that we have created before. If you click on view, you can see 100 to 200, 200 to 100. And the default action is accept. Okay, click on next. Next again. And here, in the inbound direction, I want to apply this policy to the side 20 and 40. Why in the inbound direction? When you talk about the inbound direction, we are talking about the vSmart point of view or vSmart perspective, which means when VH20 sends VPN 100 routes to the vSmart, immediately vSmart takes them and exports them to the VPN 200. On the other hand, again, when VH20 sends the VPN 200 routes this time, immediately vSmart in the inbound direction takes them and exports them to the VPN 100. That's why I am doing this policy in the inbound direction. Click on save. It needs a name. Okay. Let's preview the policy. It has two sequence numbers. In the sequence number one, it's matching VPN 100 with the any IP version 4 prefix list. This is the implicit prefix list. I have not specified or created any prefix list when I was defining this policy, which means by default, if you have not specified, if you don't specify any prefix list, any subnet using some prefix list, it's gonna consider that you are matching all the prefix lists, all the subnets. That's why we see this any IP version 4 prefix list added automatically by vManage. And the action is accept the route and export it to VPN 200. What about the other opposite direction? In the sequence number 11, we're matching the route 
VPN list is 200. Again, matching anything, matching any, I mean, accept it and export it to VPN 100. The default action is accept. I want to mention this one more, more time. Don't forget to change the default action to accept. Otherwise, we smart takes the 100 routes, for example, and drops them. For the 200, again, drops them. That's why I changed it to the accept as the default one. Okay, click on OK. And before I apply this policy to the vSmart, I want to show you something here on the VH20 for the show IP routes OMP. As you can see, the VPN 100 only contains VPN 100 routes. These are the data center routes. And what about the 200? 200 only includes the 200 routes. Let's apply this policy and see what happens. Okay, it's applied. If I check this stuff one more time on the VH20, let's go to the down part of the output for the VPN 200. As you can see, this time we have extra routes. This is the 40, 21, 140, 40. As you can see, 21 is a route related to VPN 100, but we can see it even in the VPN 200. For the CH40, it's the same. The same thing is happening. Show Steven. OMP routes. Okay, as you can see here, VPN 200 routes should be visible here in the VPN 100. And for the 200, we can see the VPN 100 route is there. And now this guy can easily reach to this guy. Let's test the connectivity on PC41. I want to ping 192.168. Let's check the subnet 122.22. Okay. If I trace 192.168.122.22, simply we can see that the traffic has been sent to VH or CH40. CH40 sends it to VH20 and it reaches to the other subnet inside the VPN 200. If you want to be more specific, let me show you how it is possible before or we don't need to deactivate, but anyways, let's go to the topology in the custom options. Here I have export VPN 100 to 200. If you want to edit these stuff, as you can see in the match section, we can match based on color list, OMP tag, origin, or site, T lock, or prefix list. I want to try the prefix list here. For example, I want to say, Define new prefix list and I want to match VPN 100 addresses. For example, 192.168.21 subnet, 192.168.40 subnet. I call this one VPN 100 subnets or let's say subnet, only one of them, or subnets. 192.168.21.0.24.192.168. Let's check. 40. 0. Slash 24. Okay. I select this one. Save. For the other side. 
I want to do the same same thing. VPN two hundred submits submits to be leaked. One ninety two one sixty eight. I think it is one forty, and the other one one two two. Okay, save, save the policy and activate it. This time we are more specific compared to the previous simple one. In the previous one, we were taking all the routes from VPN 100 and exporting them to the 200. And again, in the opposite direction, we were taking VPN 200 routes, all of them, and putting the 100. But this time, I have specified I only want to export these subnets from VPN 200 to the 100 and these subnets from 100 to the 200. It's very handful when it comes to the, for example, leaking some routes in the data center to the guest site to give them to provide them DNS server or file server or something access. But anyways, for testing, it's okay to do route leaking between site 20 and 40. Okay, I want to go to the vSmart device and take a look at the policy show, OMP show, sorry run policy and here instead of having matching any ip version 4 i have specified these specific subnets okay that's how you can do route leaking between two vpns